Hi, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the MAC Shade Stick. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like, the MAC Shade Stick. This one is in Beijing, and I've got this one, which is in Shark Skin. I'm going to be showing you what they both look like on my eyes and how they compare with a MAC pigment, which this one is. A58 which is rose and a MAC eyeshadow. This one is Trax Velvet. So that's that. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just warm up the shade sticks in our hands like this. Shouldn't be that one. And then we're just going to apply them onto our eye. I'm going for the beijing first. Just apply it. Now these shade sticks, they're very um, creamy, they have very creamy texture, and now the, sh the shark skin, and they're smooth, and they glide on pretty easily. I mean, I didn't have to warm them up very much, and it's, um, it's about room temperature in here, so. Next I'm just going to take a brush and put on some MAC eyeshadow. So just pack it on into your brush like this and then just oh immediately see there it's not come out as pigmented as I would like but maybe it's just because I didn't have enough on the brush. There we go it's a bit better. Mm. And can you see the gold flecks are showing? quite easily. Right, so let's put that same but on the side. Immediately, it's a lot darker, I can see. Um, you can see some of the gold flecks. But the pigment is definitely darker. More of a I don't know, what would you call it? Sultry look? Okay, so now I'm going to take my mag pig pigment, MAC pigment, sorry, and just open off the lid. I'm just going to tap off this brush, get rid of any excess powder. Right, so then I'm just going to dip the, the other side of the brush in the MAC pigment, tap off any excess. And then just apply that like so. It seems to be sticking quite well to the um, Beijing shade stick. Um, I'm kind of having to pat it on, but it is a pigment, so it's loose powder. That's right on the side. Same. So, see, you can immediately see that this side is a lot lighter than the shark skin one. It's definitely darker. Right. I think that's enough. So, I'm just going to close it up so I don't lose all that powder. Next, I'm just going to take another brush. Um, this is just an angled brush. Any one more angle brush and I'm going to see if they blend. Now I don't like my eyeshadows too blended but I just like them to flow so they look like they're joined. Now let's see that I've basically rubbed off all the pigment from that side apart from in the corner where I didn't even brush my, touch my brush, use my brush to touch. But, um, so it's more of a light look, this side. Let's try this side. Well, it definitely makes the gold flakiness show a bit more. But both pigments seem to have rubbed off. Um, this one seems to have stuck a bit more, but maybe it's just because 
I'm not very good at it. So try and put a bit more on. Mm. Yeah. So I've got loads of fallout here. But can you see? This this eye is darker and this eye is a lot brighter. Hmm. I know but the black shade stick, the shark skin shade stick you would um, pop out like blues and turquoisey greens, those kind of colours a lot better than the beijing would but for pinks and purples I would go for the beijing now actually I do have an alternative product to the MAC shade stick in beijing because it's quite expensive um, right I'll show you that in a minute so my alternative product for the MAC shade stick in Beijing is this one which is the Berry M Shimmering Eye and Lip Crayon This is in number one which I think is called Gold um, You do need to warm it up a little bit in your hands just like the shade stick but it goes on pretty cre easy and creamy Let me just show you there, I hope you can see maybe and. Um, it works in pretty much the same way as the MAC Beijing. Um, right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the rest of my reviews. And I've got a few hauls coming up too. Alright, thanks, bye!